Hey guys, Jonathan here, and I just got home from Brick World Chicago. This was their 2024 show, my third year attending, and it was an interesting year. It's a Lego convention, so of course I had fun, but I can't really put my thumb on it. It just didn't feel the same magic that I'd felt in years past. I really can't explain it. I talked with a lot of other creators and friends who kind of felt similarly, but I think by the time the weekend was over, we all ended up having a good time. That being said, it was one of the craziest years for me, from going to the hospital with duck bricks, taking him to the emergency room, to a crazy yard sale, to everything in between. It was a lot of fun, and the end of the convention was the craziest part for me. I'll tell you about that at the end, but for right now, let's roll the footage. All right, hey everybody, we are starting the vlog off for Brick World Chicago 2024. Walk in the door, here's Matt, here's Mike. Meeting up with all the bros as soon as I walk in, and life doesn't get much better, so let's start checking it out. I totally had this as a kid. Oh jeez, it's unreal. Yeah. My god.
So Friday we went ahead and went to lunch and Chris had an allergic reaction to the sauce on his steak and we had to take him to the emergency room. That was insane and quite a break in the day if I do say so myself. So after the convention wound down, a bunch of us hopped in cars and went over to Medieval Times. Now I'd never been before, but it's like a dinner show themed around a night joust, and I could not believe it. It was like WWE with like storylines and heroes and villains. I really don't want to spoil it too much if you've never been to Medieval Times, but I really cannot recommend it enough. It was so much fun, and after the show, the knights actually came out and we got to meet some of them in the lobby, and we invited the knight that we were rooting for in our section to come to the LEGO convention, and then he did the next day. <laughs> it was crazy. But after that, we headed back to the hotel and found an impromptu yard sale, and that was great too. I know, right? So check this out, got a misprint Joker, like the vest is printed wrong, got an alignment figure, and all kinds of cool stuff on top of that. What's it? Oh my god, that's awesome. The misprints just keep coming. <laughs> It's Saturday morning. The yard sale was here last night. The impromptu yard sale, and it was awesome. But now that it's Saturday, it's public day, so everybody and their brother is going to be at the show. Uh, and I'm meeting up with Chris first because we're going to check out the Fold concert where Chris is actually going to do like a uh, special guest appearance with the band, and we're going to go to sound check now. So let's get it. You did it so effortlessly. I'm like, So we got to the ballroom and the van's not here yet. So that means it's time to hit the Lego convention. <laughs> I or... could have slept in another hour, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to see Chris's vlog for the whole story, I guess. But we'll be back. feeling i'm so excited i'm ready you know <laughs> fold of the deck ducky on the rhymes the ninja's Whoa. big ball on lego's time you know jeez he's I'm just busting out bars <laughs> so little i mean showed it earlier but here's the set list now you're a musician it's good oh, to get man. an advanced yeah, copy that's right? it that's it i'm telling you oh we my need, gosh we need, we need a signed duck version of this. this is on ebay already i'm putting it on ebay right now <laughs> track who's ready to rip <laughs>
just ended. It was amazing. We have the rap rock star in the backseat. <laughs> and we are all starving. So that means it's time for Portillo's. Then we got to get back. Who knows what we'll get into. And of course, tonight is the yard sale. Let's get it. All right, this is the first food I've had all day. Had to get the bacon cheeseburger. Gotta get a dog at Portillo's. Fries, cheese, Coke, and chocolate cake shake. Gentlemen, oh. let's eat. <laughs> let's eat. I didn't even take a picture. First time, didn't film, didn't take a picture. I'm just chowing down. I'm starving. <laughs> and after Portillo's, we had to gather the troops for Brad's birthday. Happy birthday, Brad. Woohoo! All right, we're back from more than one meal that we went out for and the yard sale is going to get started before too terribly long here so we're getting ready for that i want to say it's going to be great but they've changed the rules so much for the yard sale this year that i honestly really don't know what to expect hey jonathan do you have one of these all right getting started a little early in the hallway here with some stuff popping up oh look at that uh speed champions ferrari set i just got finish line that's, that's a good, good one yeah that's one a good racer though. set for sure got comic-con captain marvel there nice and bubble wrap just the way we like it no we're not selling it so, just like last year, people kind of bring stuff out into the lobby, and they're not selling right now, to be completely honest, but it is kind of cool to get, like, a sneak preview of stuff before it goes up. Um, so now, people are loading in, and we'll start to shop, and we'll see what comes up. spoil Duck's entire haul, but holy crap, Batman. I can't believe I'm seeing all three of these side by side, let alone knowing they're going to the same collection. These were Lego brand retail manager conference exclusive figures. So like if you're a Lego store manager, you could go to the show and you would get these as like a bonus gift. Holy crap. <laughs> So after the yard sale, we headed over to a place called Wonderverse. If you guys remember from Instagram, I actually got to go there earlier this year and meet Dan Aykroyd, but this is owned by Sony, and basically it's like Dave & Buster's, but exclusively for Sony. So they have like this Ghostbusters speakeasy, all kinds of movie props and replicas around, but the best part is the VR experiences like Jumanji, where we suited up, and you're literally walking around in Jumanji as the characters, and then of course they've got Ghostbusters games too. I literally cannot recommend it enough and it was so, so much fun. I tried to think of something that could never, ever possibly hurt me. Something from my childhood. It's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Then after Wonderverse, we headed back to Mike's house to check out his Lego collection. He had some really crazy stuff on display. The rarest of the rare and it was really cool for him to invite us over to see it all in person. Of course, we did a little bit of shopping there too, and uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I just picked up like two poly bags, nothing too crazy, but Duck Bricks, oh my gosh, he went crazy and got a ton of stuff. Ethan got some stuff. I'll let them tell you all about it in their respective videos, but Mike's collection was absolutely awesome and totally amazing to see. Mike sold it to me last year. 
Okay, okay. Sealed bat cave. It's insane. <laughs> what do we got, Brad? I don't think it's anything. We got this uh, Star Wars value pack from Target, which looks like. What's that? 1990. Probably like 2000. 2000. No, 2000, 2000 that definitely 2000. 2000. Okay, it is Sunday morning. I'm getting ready to go home because. I see my dad every Father's Day, never miss one, and I uh, gotta pack it all up before I fly home to see dad tonight. So, that being said, the haul this year was absolutely crazy, and there's two big items I'm saving till the end, and I did pick up a couple other items beyond what you see here that I'm keeping off camera because they're a surprise for someone else, and I almost guarantee they're watching this video, and I don't want the surprise spoiled. So, let's start over in the corner here with the bulk figures. I got tons and tons of Okoye's, I don't even know how many. I mean, that says 20, but there's definitely not 20 in there. But great for army building, great for mock building. Not really sure um, where they'll end up, but I got a great deal on them and couldn't say no. That being said, a lot of the stuff here is going to show up in future WhatNot sales. So be sure to visit the link down below to save my WhatNot profile so you don't ever miss out on those sales. And uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to miss out. Basically on whatnot, I start everything at a dollar, so you all have a chance of getting some cool stuff. Got a bunch of Nick Furies. Got all of these for $3.50 each from the Marvel CMF Series 2. Got all kinds of Shuri minifigs, Echo, Werewolf by Night. Got some of these like really bad 4 plus Star Wars ones, but just need them to complete the collection. Got two misprints. Check out this R2-D2 where the pink dot is outside of that blue box. That's kind of interesting. And then this Joker from the Tumblr looks normal from the front, but on the back, you could see that the dark blue wasn't printed the whole way over. So it's a misprint in that respect. So that's kind of interesting. Here we've got Cyclops from 2014, Red Hood, Captain America from the mech set, 2006 Batman and Spider-Man from the Sanctum Sanctorum. This is a year 2000 advent calendar, so really interesting to see how these have evolved, both in design and what's included. I mean, these builds are definitely nostalgic, don't get me wrong, but like they're not great builds compared to what we get today. But this was gifted to me by my friends over at the Brick University. They set up at a lot of LEGO conventions, and they are absolutely wonderful people. Over here, I got this LEGO Dimensions Gimli pack, which, of course, I'm going to have my adopted grandfather, uncle, BFF, John Reese davies sign next time I see him, so that'll be cool. Duck Bricks got me this luggage tag for my world record attempt for LEGO superheroes. Just something random to add to the collection and another cool thing to have. I guess we'll go into the keychains here. Got Doc Ock and... J. Jonah Jameson from 2004 Spider-Man 2, as well as a 2012 Loki keychain, which I did not have before, so that's good for the world record attempt as well. Here we've got a rare Coca-Cola promotional minifigure from the soccer days. Um, these were from Japan, as you can see here, and they're definitely interesting. 2002, so 22 years old. Up here, these are all things I found at the yard sale, so I guarantee you I paid significantly less than what was here because, you know, when you buy a lot off of people, sometimes they'll make you a deal or whatever the case may be. So, got an original 2012 Magneto here, got a 2002 Spider-Man, Twitch from Toy Story 3 who has the antennas and the wings on the back, getting pretty hard to find this one complete. Got Wonder Woman, a bunch of Marvel CMF Series 2s, the original Rocket Raccoon from 2014, Batman's Torso from 2006, Wolverine from 2012, and Hobgoblin, which is pretty cool there for 15 bucks. Also got a pack of Jurassic World trading cards. Haven't ever had a pack of those before. Then that brings us here to the poly bags where I got the Silver Centurion. If you can believe it, I got the Silver Centurion and this misprint Joker for 100 bucks for both. So I was really happy with that. Got the Winter Soldier poly bag here. Several of these paper and foil bags that are exclusive to Europe. These come with like magazines. They are super, super cool. Definitely great to pick those up, especially Rescue, relatively rare figure here in the States. Uh, War Machine only came in the 2020 uh, Helicarrier there, so that's pretty rad. Got the Shang-Chi poly bag. Tears of Batman and Disco Batman GWP. Got the Mr. Freeze GWP, the Batman Pattinson Batmobile poly bag, and of course, one of the greats of all time, the 2018 Bricktober pack 
from Avengers Infinity War. So super cool here. As you can see, I got a good deal on that. And I actually bought this off of Duck Bricks, who in his haul uh, got an even better deal because he bought a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm still going to pay him back for this, but I don't actually know what he's going to charge me. So probably 70 bucks would be my guess, but I guess we'll find out. And finally, for the big reveal, the last things that I picked up and truly amazing, we've got Black Suit Superman and Green Arrow, the 2013 Comic-Con exclusives, both limited to 350 ever made, and the final two minifigures I need to complete my LEGO Superheroes collection. Look how beautiful that is. It's the Henry Cavill-style Superman, just printed with a black and silver color scheme, and of course, the Arrow minifigure, loosely, loosely, loosely based off of the Arrowverse, and if those aren't cool enough, I've also got the raffle tickets to go with them. The Superman one has been laminated, and the Green Arrow one is not laminated, but it is absolutely bonkers to have the complete set of these minifigures as well as their respective raffle tickets to go with them. So it was an absolutely legendary haul to pick these up. A big thanks to my buddy Mike for selling me these out of his personal collection because he knew that these are the last two I needed to complete my collection. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Then that moves us back over to the hall here and we're gonna wrap things up. So let me know what you guys thought of the haul and be sure to check out the whatnot link in the description down below so you don't miss out on future sales where a lot of this stuff is gonna pop up starting at just $1. All right, so that wraps up Brick World Chicago. Like I said, hard to put my pulse on it, but it just was different this year. I still had a great time. It's a Lego convention, how can you not? but I just didn't feel the excitement and the connection that I have the past two years, and hopefully next year that changes. I talked to some creators who aren't even sure if they're going to go next year. Tough to say, but we'll see what happens. It's a whole year away now. Lots can change. So looking forward to that. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about my flight home. This is insane, and I'm still not caught up on sleep. I was supposed to fly home Sunday afternoon to go see my dad for Father's Day, United Airlines pushed my flight back like two times and then just outright canceled it, then put me on a flight the next day, and it just got absolutely awful. So I got a refund from them after having to fight them. They showed like no sympathy at all. Horrible, horrible, horrible experience with United Airlines. Then I booked a flight with Southwest, and that kept getting delayed. So that went from a 6.55 takeoff. It kept getting delayed. We got on the plane at like 12.30 at night. It was insane. I was never more glad to get home. And of course, now that I'm home, I got to put together this footage for you. So let me know what you thought of the vlog. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.